Hi there, welcome to the RPS project. Recently I did a bit of upgrading to this thing, this uh, old HP pavilion. It's a bit of a brick and uh, put in it uh, an SSD and I installed Linux Mint, um, which was fine, seemed to do all right. Uh, when I did that, I did actually record the footage of me installing Linux Mint on this, uh, on this box. I hadn't actually intended to uh, create a video from it, but I thought, well, I've videoed it, I've got the footage, so uh, I did some bit of editing and created a video of me installing Linux Mint. So this is the process of installing Linux Mint on this machine. I think what I need to do is to actually install this onto the um, onto this SSD because that's the idea. So let's go to install Linux Mint. Double click, I think. Oh, there we go. So hopefully this is going to start to um, put uh, uh, Linux Mint onto the SSD. So yes, we want it in English. That would be uh, good. You can choose lots of other languages, but uh, English is the only language I know. So now it's going to say English. Now I'm in the UK, so. English UK. Install Media Codex. Well, yeah, let's have the full package. Now I need to uh, mess about with it. And then, uh, well, I presume it's going to take a little bit of time, so uh, see what happens. Right, uh, I've got here installation time. This computer currently has no detect operating system. What would you like to do? Well, um, just erase disk and install Linux Mint because there isn't anything else on there. So I might as well just go with what it tells me. Advanced features, what are advanced features? Use LVM with new Linux Mint installation. Now this is where I could encrypt the drive. Encrypt the new Linux Mint installation for security. You will choose a security key in the next step. Mm, right, shall I do that? Well, I don't know, but I could do. See what it does. Um, so I'll uh, find that out in a minute. So I'll click OK. And install now. The disk encryption protects your files in case you lose your computer. Um, yeah, I this one's going to go anywhere really, but um, it requires you to enter a security key each time you the computer starts up. Any files outside of Linux Mint will not be encrypted. Right. Warning. If you lose the security key, all data will be lost. If you need to, Write down your keys and keep it in a safe place elsewhere. Marvellous. For security, overwrite empty disk space. The installation may take much longer. Oh, right. Marvellous. So I've got to decide on a secure security key for that. So mm, let's have a quick think, I suppose, what I can put in there. So, security pass, um, well, um, okay. So it's a fair password, so let's go with that. And we will shall see, I suppose. So I have no idea how long this could take, so it may be a while. Mm. If you continue, the changes listed below will be written to the disk. Otherwise, you will be able to make further changes manually. Well, uh, I think I'll just go ahead with it. Oh, 
Oh look, it's given me a geographical location, London. Yeah, and that, that's good enough for me, it's close enough. Right, now I'm going to put my name in. And then it wants to give my computer a name, which at the moment is just some random thing. So I'm going to put Pavilion, because that's what it is. It's a HP Pavilion. So um, pick a username, right? RPS Project. Must start with a lower case. You're taking the Michael in, yeah? <laughs> um, okay, well, let's put it as RPS. All lower case, and we'll do it like that. RPS project. Now I've got to choose a password. Another fair. There we go. Login automatically, I could do, but I'm not going to. Um, requires my password to log in. Encrypt my home folder. Well, I don't really need to do that, do I? Because I've already done an encryption on the whole disk. But um, I suppose I could just do that as an extra. Anything it doesn't like? Oh, look at this. May only contain lowercase letters, digits, hyphens, and underscore. Ah, I see. I've put a gap in there, haven't I? So let's put an underscore in there. That's better. RPS underscore project. It'll work. And now it's going to go through the rest of the installation process. And there we have it. It looks like installation is complete. Um, and it tells me I can continue testing and work in this environment from the uh, thumb drive, or I can restart and have a look to see it actually all in action and to make sure that it has actually um, basically installed. So restart. And he wants me to remove the installation media and press enter. And hopefully I should get a successful boot. Please unlock your disk. Well, better do that first. Does seem to have uh, got past that stage. And here we are. So I think basically put in my password. And hey, will you look at that? It's connected. Brilliant. And all I've got to do now is go through the uh, the steps of uh, sort of setting this up, which is great. A bit more work, but uh, but yeah, great. Welcome to your new operating system. Love it. Thank you very much. And I do is just shut that for now, and um, yeah, pop the lid back on the box, and um, oh, there we go, a working uh, system. So there you have it, Linux Mint installed on this box. Um, quite a simple process really. It um, didn't take too long and it's fairly straightforward really. I mean, no issues, it did what I expected to do. So now it's just a case of um, getting on and 
learning Linux Mint and learning Linux and um, basically understanding how that uh, operating system works and hopefully this box will work without any issues and I'll uh, understand um, using the command line and all that sort of stuff um, quite quickly hopefully. Anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Subscribe and all comments are welcome. See you next time.